This bow is an 11th century crossbow. It's based on a find from Colottier de Chavarin. Uh, it is the only Dark Ages bow that we have any physical evidence of. Now, it has uh, not the rising peg trigger that often is used, but a little lever here, rising lever trigger. The stock in this case is made of cherry, the lever is boxwood, and the bow itself is of yew, linen string. We don't know exactly how the bow was lashed to the stock itself. There is this little lip here that had something to do with it. Uh, so I have just lashed it around with some hemp cord. So it's not enormously well held, but actually, if you just push the bow back after each shot, it works absolutely fine. The whole thing can be made by any bodger with a draw knife and a saw. It's, it's a very straightforward thing to make. Uh, in fact, it's so straightforward that they're still using them in the backwoods in the Appalachians in America in the 1800s of a very similar thing. And again, in, in Africa as well, you see similar bows. Um, so, I'll show you how it is used. So you brace it against your groin, you pull back. This one is some 65 pounds in draw weight, so it's not a lot. But it does make it easy to use. It's surprisingly accurate. That, in fact, in fact, was a bullseye. So we go again. So that one was three inches below the first at 15 paces. It's a linen string, a U bow. Um, it's a pleasure to shoot. It's very fun. It's not a weapon of war. Without a shadow of a doubt, it is not for war. Taking birds out of trees, absolutely perfect.